He said like somebody's daughter. And the song is called Somebody's Son. Yeah, what's good y'all? If you're new to the channel, my name is Shadiq and I like them to cross over media. Now before I tell you that this one is a 10, because honestly it's probably gonna be a 10, abs really misses in my book. I wanna let y'all know to check out my intro to Abracadabra mix and playlist. I put together 10 songs plus two bonuses that I think that every new Abracadabra listener should check out. And I put it all into a 12 minute mix. If you don't wanna check out the whole 40 minutes, you can check out the 12 minute mix instead. So that way you can get to sample the playlist. <laughs> But listen, I already know Abs is gonna spin this one. It goes without saying. People were jumping in my comments like 30 seconds after the song released, telling me to react to it. So I don't want to hold y'all too much longer. Let's get it. Just based off the title and the fact that it's on press play, it's probably gonna be a rude one. I don't think this is the one that was teased at the end of Mixed Emotions either. It seems like this was made specifically for press play, it seems like. Best, cause you know. That was actually simple and sound. I get a chest up. Well your best cause. <laughs> you know. So Hey, who's that? Who's that? Pass me the smoke, let me do that. Who's that? Big grand busy by my side, fuck his Canada geese, but I'll rip right through that. Cause I'll see my big I don't know what this is reminding me of. That sequence is reminding me of something. Also, check out my interview that I did with Abs as well. He said that oftentimes he gets ideas from other songs that he kind of like samples the melody. Whatever would be the, the word, right? But like, interpolates, boom, um, certain other songs without realizing it. So, fun fact, if you didn't already know that. But check out my, my Abracadabra interview. But it's reminding me of something that I can't... Who's, Who's that, that, my man? man? Jump up, that's what it was. Reminding me of Woy. Hey, who's that? Who's that? Pass me the smoke, let me do that. Who's that? Big grand busy by my side, fuck his Canada geese, but I'll rip right through that. Cause I'll swing my blade on the main, got civilians, shot two lies on me like people. He tried to run, but he wouldn't get far when I need that. <sighs> I've been saying this lately. Now, sometimes like certain punchlines aren't hitting as hard. I've been saying this for a lot of reactions lately. I've heard a couple all eyes on me, and especially in the UK in particular. I've heard a couple of those, so it's like that one doesn't hit as hard as it might have otherwise. Played on the main, got civilians, shot two lies on me like people. He tried run, but he wouldn't get far when I need that. Caught up and crashed that quick send that to the U lad. I could have never been a punk on my block if I Kareem, if you're watching this, you know why I paused it. I could have never been a punk on my block if I was. You can tell from my aura. I can never be wet like somebody's daughter. Shit goes left when I sing my aura. Alright, so <laughs> he said like somebody's daughter. And the song is called Somebody's Son. You can tell from my aura. I've been crashed that quick send that to the U lad. I could have never been a punk on my block if I was. You can tell from my aura. I can never be wet like somebody's daughter. Shit goes left when I sing my aura. You tried this man a couple years back when I see him in the yard. That something got through. He must have put the pass on the pass when I saw him. Cut it froze up. I don't know what he's put cause. Not mind yourself when you see my ones. We'll sleep on vials. Fuck bygones. You don't have no strap. Better go buy one. Better go high one. Cause I got my one. Don't tell me that you got. I don't care. I like the man's music, so I'm probably gonna be way more gassed than the average person, but that sequence was cool. Just the build up, like I already know the drop is about to be mud. Whenever H1 can I believe H1 get whenever H1 can abs ink up, it's it's a it's a mad one, so yeah. I just wanna hear that build up again. Mind yourself when you see my ones, no sleep on vials, fuck bygones. You don't have no strap, better go buy one, better go hire one, car got my one. Don't tell me that you got bear guns when they're catching dust, little man, better go. Oh, did he say go hire one? What? what no. Mind yourself when you see my ones, no sleep on vials, fuck bygones. You don't have no strap, better go buy one, better go hire one, car got my one. Don't tell me that you got bear guns when they're catching dust, little man, better go sky some. How you be yeah. one corn, better go yeah. buy some. No street yeah. that round here, fuck wise one. I'm an out blocking up. That was cold. I heard no street fighter. And bison, yeah. I'm an out block and I'm not ten lord in China, but somebody's son when they're nearly hit from somebody's son, then blowing back on somebody's son. Nah, that's rude. I knew it was gonna be rude, but I didn't think it was gonna be just that direct. Like, Jesus. I'm an out block and I'm not ten lord in China, but somebody's son when they're nearly hit from somebody's son, then blowing back on somebody's son. The thing 
something about abs that he makes simple things just snap so much differently it's what he does with his voice and what i mean by that is like he he kind of plays a little bit with the levels in his voice and like the way that he says things like he's more or less always aggressive on songs like this but i don't know how to put it like he just has moments where he makes whatever the hook is just sound so much more ca um, catchy i guess maybe it might also be it's not like he has like another track of his voice right underneath the main track so maybe that might be a little bit too but anyway this one is called <laughs> Man said I'm a real Viking. Crash like lightning. This <laughs> is Samurai Jack. What is this going on with these references? I'm gonna let you know right now. If you don't like reloads. Alright then. Care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. We're pulling back. We're pulling back. I don't care. You know what it is? It's his flows, his delivery. He's just so confident. It feels like with every single song, especially songs like this, he becomes more and more confident. Like, it's the delivery is OD. It's. The flows is just too good. You know what I was about to say? Is he about to make a Snapchat reference? Because like you said, we don't bring their phones when we snap that or something like that. Then he says, I know there's going to be a Snapchat reference coming up. I'm just that good. When I'm doing jiggy jiggy, let me do my jiggy jiggy. You don't wanna disturb me. You don't wanna keep chatting up back that Cause we pulling up pants on your hair, back back. We don't bring your phones when we go slap that. Them bricks they ride out on Snapchat. Kelly moves in my lungs every day, man. Fill it up. Star dogs killing us. Up block, drill it up. Big hand things on my butt, man. Fill it up. Anything I see round there, man. Lift it up. If it ain't a full four, look. It's, I promise y'all, this isn't just me this is just being extra for no reason. You know what it is? It's the way that he builds up the moments. Like, the beat just levels out for a moment, right? It just has the perks, I believe. And then he's just, like, building it up for the next drop. And it's just, like, the flow kind of compensates for the fact that the beat itself is dialing back a little bit. H1K and Abs is probably about as undefeated as Cushion Abs. I always say Cushion Abs are undefeated duo. I think that H1K and Abs are undefeated duo as well now. Because they have too many good songs at this point. Too good. Too too good. Who's best guns to the right on my left when I'm doing jiggy jiggy? Let me do my jiggy jiggy. You don't wanna disturb me. You can get quiet. You don't wanna keep chatting up back that cause we pulling up on your hair back back. We don't bring your phones when we go slap that. Them bricks they ride out on Snapchat. Kelly moves in my lungs every day, man. Fill it up. Star dogs killing us. Up drop. Yes, I heard about it. We say what? Don't even mind us. We don't bring your phones when we go slap that. Them bricks they ride out on Snapchat. Kelly moves in my lungs every day, man. Fill it up. Star dogs killing us. Up drop. Drill it up. Big hand things on my block, man. Fill it up. Anything I see round there, man. Lift it up. Is he doing a freaking number sequence? Did I just catch that? Cause I'm not slow. Oh, 
block and I'm locked and loaded Tryna run so many sun when they nearly have top So many sun them go and back and run so many sun Before I ever put a rap in a block I used to go around there and be so many sun Man do it like go for a hole in one One drop, one drop, one hole in a plan Alright, hold on there's a lot left in this video. I'm on all block and I'm locked and loaded. Tryna run so many sun when they nearly have top so many sun. Them bro and back and so many sun. Before I ever put a weapon on block, I used to go around. Is there gonna be another teaser? I hope there is. I hope there's. It looks like it's gonna be a teaser. I'm gonna say it. It's probably not gonna happen because nobody has attempted to spoil it in my comments. But I know that him and Unknown T dropped their songs at the same time, well on the same day. And I was like, it would have been lit if they teased their collab the same day that they dropped songs it's probably not gonna happen but yeah, it seems like this one was like a, a, a press play thing another so, no. h1k stretch do the same time as you know yeah it's an f so i forget a chest up there versus i oh no it's the same song it's the same song same song, I'm about to get mad hype. No. My bugging? Yeah. Is that Grab that something and blow some. Yeah, okay. So, in this channel, we hold the vowels. That means we're gonna get straight into it. If you haven't already figured it out, I'm giving this one a 10. You can call me biased if you want, I don't care. Suck your mother and die. I said what I said. Now I do have valid reason for why I feel that way. I just think that Abs just has the perfect template at this point. Like he he he's really just mastered these kinds of songs. I wouldn't thought there's probably gonna be a day where I'm gonna feel a little bit tired of it, but I think that the way that he delivers it with just the same energy every time, while also kind of remixing and bringing in new flows and just all these slight subtleties, I think that's probably the main reason why I haven't gotten onto him too much about it but nonetheless every single one of these songs while having similar aspects to it they all have their own identities that make them feel fresh i like that he backed out some new flows and rhyme schemes on this one and especially using those moments when the beat just kind of drops a little bit to kind of accentuate those flows too again those are the things that really get me hyped it's just the fact that it creates so much suspense and it actually has an impact on my emotions right that's one of those things i usually recommend to producers you'll know, give your beat some personality don't just let it be one continuous loop that maybe changes once or twice like allow it to have moments where it fluctuates and where it allows the artist to do something a little bit different but also have enough moments where the beat can be doing a little bit more to also then compensate for what the artist may not be doing with his vocals and with their lyricism but if i do have to be 100 honest though i do think that this is one of those beats where it doesn't feel super duper distinct i'm not sure if it's show me or spin this cool but it's reminding me of one of those i don't know if h1k produced either or both of those songs as well but it just is giving me kind of inklings of that and i think probably what might be alluding to those songs too is just the fact that he referenced his own bars in here he had the references to on deck with the jiggy jiggy he just had so many things we've heard him say in the past that he slightly remixed and normally like i said i do get onto artists for that but i do think that within this lane and this kind of drill song it works out but i will say that if he continues to do it too much i think it can kind of start feeling like a one trick pony kind of thing and i know that abs isn't a one trick pony he's done way too many different kinds of songs for us to land on that kind of conclusion but what what I will say is that the main reason why I'm still gonna give this one a 10 for the beat despite that criticism is just because it's a template that works. If you can really influence my emotions and how I physically react, I have to give you some bonus points for that. And I do have to give Ab some credit lyrically as well. I like the fact that he kind of stuck with this motif of referencing characters throughout the song. I heard that he referenced like M. Bison, I think I heard Samurai Jack. So doing that a couple times throughout allows it to not just be a one-off thing, but something that you could tell probably was intentional. The other main reason why I'm giving this one a 10 for lyricism, regardless of whatever y'all have to say about it, is because I think that Abs has also mastered giving us the kind of drill that feels drill while also giving you something that feels very digestible. Oftentimes, I think that artists feel like they have to just be straight up rude. They have to name drop. They just have to be extremely gruesome with it. I think Abs has finally found that happy medium that other artists need to find. Actually, I can't even say finally. He's been doing this since all of 2020 to this point. I wish I could remember who tweeted it, but now that I've heard the song, I understand why that person said that Abs really has found a template. Like, it just works. And then all of those things compounded is why I'm giving this one a 10 for replay value. This is one of those I would 
to throw an instance rotation. Like this is one of those where after hearing it for the first time, I'm gonna be rinsing it for a couple of days. And it's really good to hear that Abs has found somebody who can kind of complement his sound. Somebody like Unknown Teen R14. Like we have a bunch of artists who just have a producer that really can bring the best out of them. And I love the fact that Abs has that kind of a synergy with H1K and honestly some other producers too. But listen, I don't wanna drag this out too much longer. Once again, if you haven't already, make sure you check out my interview with Abs. If you wanna learn a little bit more about him as a person, and just some of the things you probably wouldn't get out of his music. If you want to share Abs' music with some new listeners, check out my intro to Abracadabra playlist and mix. I have all of those things linked in the description down below and I'll also have them come up somewhere here in the cards. But as always, let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below and hang tight for some more reactions. I do got more of those coming for y'all, but until next time, peace.